Hey everyone, JagTagger93 here with another comprehensive Doomwad review. Today we're looking at a retouched version of Hans George Campbell's Night Wedding Wad. During the summer of 2018 I reviewed the original Night Wedding Wad and while I really liked it and I remember it, I thought that the author could have used the environment a bit better and have done more with the lighting. I also remember feeling a bit let down at the end, especially having that cyber demon crammed into the mausoleum area towards the end. Now, this was a good wad, and make no mistake about it, but the version I played in 2018 had some things holding it back from being truly excellent. However, this time around we got something that's a lot of fun to play, and it really improves upon the original design, which I thought was really good, but this just makes it so much better. So the church is back, and again, it's still very, very spacious. But the faster enemy variants you'll encounter in this version of the wad, like the uh, Bull Demon variant and the Lost Soul variant, means that all the extra space that you're given is much more precious and used a lot better. I remember that was one of my gripes with an earlier version of the wad I played back in 2018, where it seemed like a lot of the space was just, you know, wasteful. But here, it is a real godsend, especially when you're getting modded by all these faster enemy types. Now, make no mistake about it, this wad is not really a hard wad at all. It's actually pretty simple. And maybe that's one of my small little nitpicks with this version of it. It feels like the special spheres and items are a little bit too abundant. Especially if you find the secrets, which are pretty easy to find. And for a wad this size, I think that some of the uh, special items could have been taken out for a bit more of a challenge. And uh, most people will not have a hard time with this one, you know, even on Ultraviolence. That being said, it's still a lot of fun to play and pretty well designed. The author places enemies in some really, really clever locations that really fit in terms of gameplay, but also in terms of theme, which I really appreciate. So, like before, there's a really nasty Lost Soul ambush in one of the hallways. And the graveyard, as before, is full of enemies, but here we got the uh, Spectres uh, variant. And that's fitting, you got Spectres, which are like these ghost-like entities in the uh, graveyard, so that just makes sense. And also in the graveyard, too, you have these tombstones that say, Rest in Pain, and fittingly, there's Pain Elementals just a short distance away. And of course, I'm one of those types of players that if you give me a little bit, my imagination goes wild. So I like imagining that these pain elemental demons are hanging out by these tombs that say, ironically, rest in pain, gobbling up the souls from the, uh, the recently passed and spitting them right back at the player. A little morbid, perhaps, but maybe that's not what the author intended, but rest in pain, tombstones, pain elementals right there, that's, that's what I'm thinking, and I, I really dig it. Now the mausoleum this time towards the end around houses some revenants inside of it instead of a cyber demon, which again is so much more fitting, you know, having those bony boys inside the mausoleum, right? And I was really happy to see that when I cleared out the revenants in this area, there were items inside which hinted at something big coming. And I was hoping that that was the case, I was hoping that the items here weren't just, you know, for waste, because some wads will do that, and I don't know why, but some will give you a whole bunch of items right before you end the map, which, you know, I always hate. But, no, actually, that's exactly what happens here. Uh, those items are put to good use because you have a good and satisfying boss fight at the very end in the graveyard. And there are ambushes, too, along the way, too, but none of them feel unfair. In fact, a lot of them are very front and center. Uh, just like before, too, we have a really rock and midi version of uh, White Wedding, you know, Billy Idol song. And uh, yeah, overall it's very, very solid. I just wish, just like before, that there was a little more to this wad. I would have liked it a little longer. But again, that being said, this is an absolute blast to play from beginning to end. I really appreciate the little improvements here and there with enemy placement. I loved how the enemies fit the environment too. Again, you have Revenants in the mausoleum. You have a Archvile in the church. That makes sense. The Archvile, you know, having the uh, Stigmata and a demon devoted to healing being like a priest-like figure, I dig it. Just so much great stuff here, and I rate this one in 85%, uh, which means excellent in my book. Highly, highly recommend everyone try this one out as soon as possible. All right, and that is it. That's all I really have to say about it. Thank you all for watching, and get playing. This is Jagtagger93 signing out. You have a good one.